I'm Terry Savelle Foy. Thank you so much for watching. I want to talk to you about how to be grateful when life stinks. You know, I was wondering how many people would actually view this podcast because why? We all have moments when life stinks, including myself. You know, some of you have heard different podcasts where I've shared um, all kinds of stuff about going through hell, basically, being diagnosed with skin cancer, having lawsuits against my husband's company, my house not selling, living in a a hotel for three months and not the four seasons, um, all kinds of stuff. We all have moments when life stinks. In fact, this year, I remember we had just finished redecorating our brand new offices, making them so beautiful, hardwood floors, rugs in all the offices, all the decor is on the walls, and we're so excited. We're celebrating. In fact, it was the night we finished getting it all together. The next morning, we come to work, ready for our first board of directors meeting. Before I even got here, I get a phone call from the CEO, and he says, um, you might want to put on your rain boots. I'm like, what? He said, the office is flooded. The morning after we finished getting them all ready, we came up here, and I mean, water, I don't know how high it was, but we're, we walked in, and we were just like, what in the world happened? Well, let me just tell you this. How do you be grateful when life stinks? Let me remind you, there's no power in rehearsing facts. We all know what happened. There's power when you release your faith and just start praising God for how he's going to turn it around on your behalf. Now, I'm not saying that's easy, but I'm telling you, it is a powerful principle that I believe just slaps the devil in the face. You know, you have an enemy who's out to kill, steal, and destroy your life. He does not want you to succeed. He does not want you to achieve the dreams and the goals that God's put in your heart. And he's going to try everything to cause you to come up against a wall and just be defeated. Life will stink. Everything around you looks like it's not working in your favor. You have a decision to make. Complain or be grateful. I'm not saying you're grateful for what happened. I'm saying you're grateful for what God's about to do to turn the situation around. So I remember we walked into the flood and I said, you know what? We are going to join hands right now and pray. And we're going to watch God do the impossible in this ministry. In fact, the Bible says if the thief is caught, which is Satan, he must pay back seven times what he stole from us. We joined hands, you know, standing there in the water, and we just began praising God for what he was about to do. Do you know, four days after that, we received a check from a company somewhere up north for $50,000. I'm telling you, your heart of gratitude, you expressing praise, thanksgiving, worshiping God in the midst of life stinking, it turns things around in your favor, and it stops the attack on your life. I'm absolutely convinced. And I, like I said, it's not easy, but if you want to break through in your life, don't complain. Start praising God. In fact, you know in the Bible, there's a scripture in Psalms that talks about that praise silences the enemy. Now, listen to this. A definition for the word silence, it means to restrain or cause to sit down. Enemy is a hostile adversary who literally hates you. Okay, he doesn't like you. Now picture this. Years ago, I was at a park and I was walking my little dog Ashton, a little Pomeranian with big blonde hair, walking him at the park. All of a sudden, we see this Rottweiler across the park. He sees my little Pomeranian. Basically, he's salivating. You can tell he's just looking at how he's going <laughs> to take a bite out of my Pomeranian. And he comes charging across the park, across that field towards us. Well, inside, we're nervous. We're thinking, oh, dear Lord, it's happening so fast. All of a sudden, that dog just jerked back. He fell on his side. And then he sat up like, I'd come at you if I could, but I can't because I'm restrained. He just stopped. Well, he had one of those leashes that lets him just go so far. And then the owner pushes this little button, and it jerks him back, and he can't go any further. Well, do you know that's exactly what happens in the spirit realm? When you start praising God, no matter what you're going through, especially when you're going through hard times, you have literally put Satan on a leash. Your praise silences the enemy. In other words, all hell's coming loose in your life. You just got a bad report from the doctor. Your spouse says they're not into you anymore. Your children aren't doing good. You didn't get the promotion. You can't lose the weight you wanted to lose. Nothing's going your way. When you start praising God, 
I'm telling you, you have just put Satan on a leash, and he's saying I'd come at you if I could, but I can't because I'm restrained. Your praise is so powerful to turn things around in your life. You know, throughout the Bible, we see stories of when God's people started shouting praises, it confused the enemies, walls came down, not only that, doors were opened up. You know, you remember the story of the walls of Jericho. Here they are, you know, they're faced with these massive walls. It's standing between them and their promise, them and their dream. And God instructed them to circle it six times. And then on the seventh time, they were instructed to start praising God as loud as they could. Just start voicing their praises to God. Well, as soon as they began praising God, the walls came down. Think about this. Between you and your dreams, there will always be a Jericho, something standing between you and your dreams. What if your praise to God was the only thing keeping you from your promise? What if that was the only thing keeping you from going from where you are to where you want to be or seeing things turn around in your behalf? I'm telling you, your praise is powerful. So the people of Jericho, they shouted praise to God. The walls came down. But think about that. The shout is what sealed the deal. The shout is what pushed them over. You know, do you remember those old commercials of the cleaning product called Shout? You know, in those commercials, it would be like a woman in the kitchen. You know, she's cooking and it shows the little boy in the backyard. He's playing. He gets his jeans all dirty. All of a sudden, the announcer turns turns to the mom in the kitchen and says, what are you going to do? And she says, I'm not worried. I'm going to shout it out. And, she, <laughs> and then all of a sudden it cuts to the father and he's in the garage. He's underneath the car. He's getting grease all over his white t-shirt. The announcer turns to the mom in the kitchen and says, what are you going to do? And she goes, I'm not worried. I'm going to shout it out. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's exactly what you've got to do. When breakthroughs aren't happening, dreams are delayed, you're getting the worst reports. In fact, your dreams look worse now than they did before you made your vision board. Satan's going to come at you. Your friends are going to come at you and say, what are you going to do? It looks like nothing's going your way. Your life stinks. You say, I'm not worried. I'm going to shout it out. You can add the wink if you want. But my point is, if you want to sum up the entire Bible in one word, shout the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus seals the deal. So I am challenging you with whatever you're going through right now. You want walls to come down. You want breakthroughs to happen in your life. Start praising God. Express gratitude. Be grateful for what God's about to do in your life. If you're enjoying this podcast, please subscribe to this channel, share it with your friends and family. And I want to ask you real quick to pray about becoming a partner with this ministry. You know, partners are people who pray for us and who support us financially, whether it's a dollar a month, a hundred a month, whatever God puts on your heart. But I'm telling you, there's power in partnership. If the podcasts are helping you, if this ministry is encouraging you, then pray about joining with me. You know, one of the cool things about partnership, when you become a partner with someone, you're not just giving finances. Do you know that that grace that's on that ministry literally comes on you? Well, the grace that's on this ministry is discipline to achieve your dreams. So if you're believing God that this next year you're going to have more discipline than you've ever had before, I'm just encouraging you, kick it up a notch and become a partner. And I want to know, I want you to know, we pray for our partners. So you will be covered in prayer. If you're enjoying this, like I said, share it with your friends. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter so I can keep you motivated to achieve your dreams. Thanks for watching. most rewarding, most productive, most amazing years of your life. Or just another time.